hey and welcome everyone to our new lesson for uh, wave energy conversion system or WEC or the systems which are used to convert the uh, wave energy or the uh, energy inside the waves into electrical energy okay using the different uh, principles such as air pressure uh, potential energy uh, mechanical energy and so on so anyway in this series of videos we will discuss this system in details this is a topic which uh, is not discussed a lot in uh, youtube videos or anywhere so i would like to focus on wave energy conversion system because they are important and i'm going to discuss a lot about them so if you are new to our uh, youtube channel don't forget to subscribe to our channel and uh, press the like button in order to see all of our uh, latest videos or the new videos on our channel so first we will need to understand the ocean wave power or the energy inside or the power inside the waves the ocean waves are generated by the blowing wind the wind when the wind blows it uh, causes the uh, formation of the waves here the wave power refers to the energy of the ocean surface waves and the capture of this energy in order to do useful work so the energy of the ocean or the energy contained inside the waves uh, in seas in oceans whatever all of this can be used in uh, different applications such as uh, electricity generation the generation of electricity okay and there is a lot of potential inside the uh, uh, wave power or the uh, electricity generation from wave power okay we will understand this uh, later also as uh, a desalination or the conversion of the salt uh, water into uh, pure water okay and the pumping of the water into reservoirs okay uh, the ocean or the waves inside the ocean absorb the energy from the storm center the storms which occur inside the oceans or uh, seas and transport it into distant shores as we see of course in the natural um, or inside the nature this means that the waves are more predictable than winds and the waves keep rolling even after the wind stops so what are the advantages of using the ocean wave power in generation of electricity number one they are clean renewable source of energy they are nearly unlimited and more predictable than wind and sun it has on an availability percentage as high as 90 percent and they can travel large distance without significant energy loss okay uh, it has a high availability percentage as of course uh, nearly every time you will find uh, ocean waves and of course it has a little environmental impact and not visible from shore there are types of uh, generation of electricity from waves which are deep inside the oceans okay they are not visible or not near in, uh, to the shore okay and of course they have little environmental impact they don't have any uh, waste gases for example or uh, co2 or anything okay the best thing about the wave energy it has the highest energy density among all the renewable energy sources such as sun wind and etc okay so it has the highest energy density it means that it can um, a very small amount or very small area produce very high energy compared to the same area of uh, sun or wind the total potential of the wave energy has been estimated between 0.2 and 10 uh, terawatts this is one in one of the research papers where uh, it is an estimation at minimum we can produce 0.2 terawatt from oceans and seas around the world okay so it can feed the wallet up to 10 terawatt okay so of course this amount of power okay of course it will become energy when uh, it multiplied by 
time of course uh, this amount of energy is uh, beneficial to the wallet uh, power consumption therefore many research projects have been oriented to the wave energy conversion system okay some systems have been designed in order to generate electricity from the ocean so what are the challenges um, we face when we try to implement the wave energy number one there is a lot or there are lots of variations in forces and power inside the wave energy they are having random uh, variations and a lot of variations okay that is a big problem inside the um, electrical system okay so we have to um, design a system which provide electricity at an average ocean climate and also survive extreme storms so the major challenge is to provide a system which is economical not expensive and also strong enough to survive the extreme ocean climates okay the, such as uh, tornadoes uh, storms inside the uh, ocean of course it also needs to satisfy the requirements uh, imposed by the network okay and the power flow between the grid and this uh, wave energy system or uh, conversion system must be maximized okay we have to benefit to the maximum value from the ocean power the classification of the wave energy converters okay if you search for the classification of the wave energy converters you will find a lot of uh, classifications okay uh, according to the type of energy type of um, the wave uh, be the benefit from the waves is it uh, horizontal vertical to the side a lot of classification one of the classifications which we are going to discuss is uh, according to the uh, type of the system okay or the type of the devices uh, such as wave profile devices this type of devices convert the oscillating height of the ocean surface into mechanical energy okay so when the uh, ocean oscillates or the waves moves up and down this causes oscillation of mechanical part okay so we take this mechanical part or mechanical energy into electrical energy so the wave profile device floats on or near to the sea surface such as this one this one is uh, called the bilamis uh, wave energy converter okay the bilamis okay so this uh, one uh, as you see here it is floating on the surface okay or submergible devices okay here the device floats on or near to the sea surface and moves in response to the shape of the instant wave okay you know that the sea wave have crests and troughs okay so according to the crest and troughs at each of these uh, points the uh, there is a parts or mechanical parts which moves which leads to generation of electricity okay we will understand different types of wave energy converters in more videos okay so we are just giving an overview about the wave energy converters so it is a uh, device moves up and down under the influence of the variation in underwater pressure as a waves moves by the example of this system or the wave profile devices which uses the oscillating height is the Bilamis wave energy converter we will discuss the Bilamis and see a video on how it works in another lecture another type is called the oscillating water column okay so they convert the energy of the waves into air pressure so the first one uh, convert the oscillating height into uh, mechanical energy this one or the oscillating water column they convert the energy of the waves into air pressure so here's an example you will see that here this is the system or the wave energy converter or the oscillating water column which will convert the 
which will convert the energy of the waves into air pressure. So what will happen here is that you will see that the water or the water waves goes down here, goes up, pushes the air through a small air gap. So when the air is pushed, the turbine generator starts to uh, rotate. Okay, the, the rotor of the generator starts to rotate due to the air pressure okay which leads to generation of electricity okay and when this water column goes down or the water waves goes down the air pressure comes back and also rotates the turbine so in the end uh, during the two direction of the airflow we will generate electricity okay this is just an illustration another illustration is this one you will see that the water rises Okay, you'll see here a chamber, okay, or a room which contains air. When the water rises, this will causes or forces the air to go through a hole here. Okay, so this through this hole, the air goes out. Okay, and when it goes out, it moves a turbine or rotates a turbine. Again, when the water starts to fall during the second direction, the air goes in and also rotates a turbine so during the both directions we are generating electricity so it is a popular shoal line wave energy device uh, positioned uh, onto or near to uh, rocks or cliffs which are next to, uh, to a deep sea bottom so we'll see that in another video when we discuss the oscillating water column and see a video about them you will find that this part exists in uh, near to the shore okay near to uh, as the shore as a building okay as a small building or uh, large building compared to the um, surroundings so this one will uh, be placed to a deep sea bottom so that the water will go up and down okay when due to the uh, rise of the waves and the falling of the waves okay you will see an illustrating video which will explain the idea uh, for you uh, they consist of a partially submerged uh, hollow chamber as you see here directly at the shore line which converts the wave energy into air pressure the structure used to capture the wave energy could be a natural cave instead of a building or artificial building we can have a natural cave with a, a blue hole or a man-made uh, chamber or duct with a wind turbine generator uh, located at the top as you see here now the third classification here is the wave capture device they convert the energy of the waves into potential energy okay this is a large building in the uh, deep ocean okay large construction inside the deep ocean but it has large stability okay this one they convert the energy of the waves into potential energy so this one is similar to this one so what happens here the wave over tubing device uses a ramp design on the device okay you will see here a ramp here ramp here with a certain or inclination with a slope here you'll see a ramp here so the waves when the waves is high it will go up flowing up here okay into a reservoir okay so the incoming the due to the kinetic energy of the waves they will move up hit the ramp and move up into a reservoir so the, as the waves hit the structure they flow up a ramp and over the top hence the name overtopping okay that's why it's called overtopping the water overtops the building into a raised water reservoir on the device in order to fill it so we have a reservoir or a container large container which uh, takes this water okay now what is the next step we have water inside the reservoir and we have here a turbine so by the effect of the gravity or the gravitational force this water will flow back to the sea through the turbine 
So as if this construction or this system operates as a hydro power plant, you know that the hydro, the water falls and rotates a turbine leading to generation of electricity. Here is a similar pr same principle. The water will go inside the reservoir and from the reservoir will go down to the sea through the turbine leads to generation of electricity. So once you capture the potential energy of the trapped water is extracted using the gravity as the water returns to the sea via turbine generated located at the bottom. So in this video we uh, discussed the wave energy uh, conversion or the wave energy converters, the classification of the wave energy converters and why wave energy uh, is important. In the next lessons we are going to discuss the uh, generation of uh, wave or the generation of electricity from waves by using different devices. Okay, we are going to see videos about them such as the uh, Bilamis, the aqua boy uh, wave energy converter and more okay so before we end this video if you haven't uh, subscribed to our channel uh, please subscribe and hit the like button because it is really really important so that you can see this video and our f uh, future videos about uh, different topics such as uh, electrical uh, generation, uh, power electronics, uh, solar energy, MATLAB, ETAB, and lots of uh, useful topics. Thank you and see you in another uh, lesson.